Hey guys, it's Dylan. So welcome to Electrified. Today bringing you some inside information and a little bit of nature at the same time. So to be clear, I've been fortunate enough to link up with a few different sources and we have talked about what we should share and what we should not. So I cannot share everything, but let's get into what we know. So right now, Tesla's total production rate of 4680 cells is in the neighborhood of 1 million cells per month. Tesla is indeed ramping this quickly, so this figure could be outdated in a few weeks, but I'll do my best to keep you all posted. There's currently no stockpile of 4680 cells. A few months ago, it was reported that Tesla had a few million 4680 cells sitting around. That's not true. Tesla is eating through all of the 4680 cells it is currently producing. At the moment, the 279 mile Model Y coming out of Giga Austin, each pack has 828 4680 cells. In case you saw Troy's screenshot a few weeks ago, I'm being told there are no 4680 packs with that 690 figure, so all of them currently have 828 cells. We've also been able to confirm that yes, the charging curve on this new pack is indeed being software limited for two main reasons. One, safety, it's a new technology, so Tesla wants to roll it out in a cautious format. And two, Tesla does not want to cause an Osborne effect for any 2170 customers. So, you know, if Tesla was now charging these new packs 10 to 90% in 15 or 20 minutes, that would, of course, create an Osborne effect. So those are the two reasons, but it is confirmed software limitation on the current charging speed. On that same point, some people are thinking that the range is software limited as well, meaning the actual 4680 pack is capable of a future software unlock, maybe unlocking you know 320 plus miles of range. That is not true. Tesla is cell constrained, so they're not just putting in extra cells for a potential future upgrade. Those 828 cells are really at this point capable of that 279 miles of range. Thus, it's just the charging curve being software limited, not the range of the pack. And if we do some quick math, taking that 1 million production rate per month of 4680 cells, knowing there's 828 of these cells in each pack, that means Tesla only has enough battery production for around 1,500 Model Ys per month coming out of Giga Austin. And we should presume that to be the rate going forward, as another thing I learned is internally, the 4680 production ramp is not going as well as the Tesla team had hoped. Now, to be fair, this can change at any point. We could see an increase in production relatively quickly. However, at this point, we should be tempering our expectations a bit and rolling with this around 1500 unit production per month out of Giga Austin. As I mentioned, I can't share everything that I know at this point, but what I can tell you, Tesla does have plans to retool the lines at Giga Austin to enable 2170 packs in the future. No timeline here, but at some points in the future, Tesla should be producing Model Ys from Giga Austin with both 4680s and 2170s. I'm also being told by multiple sources that yes, these 4680s are indeed in a structural pack. And at that recent all hands meeting, Elon did touch on this upcoming dedicated robo taxi. I'm learning currently there are actually no designs for this vehicle, it's just something that's in the works, but expecting maybe a release in 2024 is still okay for now. Doing some quick math, if we assume a 70 kilowatt hour pack for this new Model Y out of Austin, that would be 0.0845 kilowatt hours per cell, knowing there are 828 4680 cells per pack. Thus, each iteration of the 4680 cell is currently around 84.5 watt hours per cell. Getting pretty bright out here, but the last thing I wanna to say to you guys at this point, and I've said this in weeks past, we need to be patient with Tesla developing this new chemistry for the new 4680 cell. So, you know, we need to give them a year or more to figure all of this out and get it dialed in and to really hit some of the expectations that many of us in the community have. So hopefully you enjoyed that update. If you did, please take a second to like the video and let me know. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters.